Hey there guys, Neil here, back with uh, an app review that's kind of also a quick trip for those, or quick tip for those of you who are interested in getting into stock trading, and that is via the app and service called Robinhood. So before I get started, I'm going to start with a quick disclaimer that I am not going to be providing any investment advice, um, any sort of stock trading picks or tips or suggestions or anything like that. I'm just going to be reviewing the app itself and giving a little bit of information about uh, Robin Hood, the company, and um, what they do. So just a bit of note there, and any prices and stocks information that you see is as of May 16th, 2018. So when if you're watching this at a later date, then know that the prices have changed, and it's best, best to look at current information when you're um, just making your investment decisions. So when you open up Robinhood, um, you'll see this nice screen. If you have any money invested, um, by whether it's in the app is just a flat amount that you've um, already transferred or you've started to buy and sell some stocks, you'll see a number that up at the top or right, right at the moment in the red that changes according to the uh, value of your portfolio as your various stocks and cryptocurrencies increase and decrease in price. So as you can tell at the moment, my value is a little bit down, so um, I'm not going to do anything at the moment. You also get a live um, chart based on um, how the market is doing and how um, things are doing over time. You also get a few different ar um, recent articles uh, based on what's going on at the in the day. So you can see a little something. There's some news about ya or Twitter. You get some semiconductor stocks, uh, Cisco and Microsoft news, um, and some more Cisco news. And if you want to read the article, you just have to touch on touch it, and it will open it, and you can read all, all about it. Um, from here, you get um, a, one tab for uh, cryptocurrency, so you can see it based on last price, equity, percent change, and things like that. And when you touch it, you'll get a graph to see how its value is doing, so you can see past history or live um, value. And you can also see the um, conversation on what's going on or what people are talking about uh, as far as cryptocurrency goes. And you'll notice that when you're looking at cryptocurrency versus your regular stock, it's a little bit different, so you can tell the difference easily. So let's say I want to look at um, how Time Warner is doing. It's in the red, they're down a little bit, so um, it looks like um, today they're down about 0.2%. Um, overall, they're uh, still up over the past over the past five years so it all depends on how you want to look at it you can see some recent news about what, how they're doing and get our um, clicking on more will allow you to see more articles and then from here you can get some stats on the company so their opening price volume pe ratio and things like that as well as q2 earnings and a little bit more about the company um, from here, if you want to find it, if you want to buy or sell um, stocks in the company, you just hit the trade button. And as a, you can see, I don't have any stocks, but I can buy um, probably two shares right now based on how much uh, trading power I have. And then you can also take a look at options if you want to um, buy or trade that way. And if you are, if you do have multiple companies in your watch list, you can easily just swipe left to right or right to left to see how your the different companies are doing. If you want to easily switch between them, and um, you can also slide the company names if you want to do a quick um, sw uh, switch from one company to another. Uh, let's say you want to add a company though because it's you're just starting or you there's another company that you may have heard that you want to keep track of so uh, when you click on the search box you can start searching for a company so let's say I want to um, follow I don't know uh, Chevy or let's say I want to follow GE so I'll do a search for um, GE and it, as you can see, I'm already following, but let's say I'll, I want to follow GM and see how they're doing. Um, from here, I can get the same information, so how their charts are doing overall, any news, their statistics, and things like that. And if it's interesting and I want to continue, follow, continue to follow them, I just hit the plus sign, and it'll now show up in my list of companies. So that's really all there is for the app. Um, um, the re so the thing that drew me to Robinhood is that they don't have any transaction costs when you buy or sell stocks, and that is because they're a mobile first company. So um, they do have a website that you can use, but 
Um, they are more Android and iOS based, so it's easier to trade on your mobile device. And they do not provide any sort of analytical or analysis or um, insights on the company, so they are able to keep their costs down from there. So the idea is that you use their platform, but do the research on your own in order to make various investing decisions. Um, and then from here, when you click on the overflow menu, you can see your buying power portfolio value and things like that. But that's really the bulk of the um, app itself. So um, if you're interested, it's something that's worth checking out, especially if you want to get into buying and selling stocks or kind of see how it can, how do, buying or selling stocks can work from you. I've started on a slightly smaller scale just so I can get used to it, see if I can check my own personal um, investing strategies, see how well they work. And see if I can make a little bit of money and build myself up from there. Um, there's very few other things you, um, as far as the app goes. You can uh, password protect it so that you, it requires a login or fingerprint login every time. And you do get notifications when your trades are placed and when your um, orders go through. So that way you know exactly what's happening at the time. And you'll also get an email confirm confirmation. So in case your notifications are off or anything like that. Um, but that's really the bulk of it. It's a, so far, it seems like an intriguing app. It's very, and as I said, it's very mobile. It's a very mobile facing company. So that's kind of what I like. It's very easy to use. And if there are companies that um, interest me, then I can easily take a look at them and get more information and see if it's something that I want to um, invest in or get or see if I can make a little bit of um, money from on my own. And the other benefit here is that you can also invest in cryptocurrency if you so choose. I have a little bit invested myself, so I'm kind of intrigued to see um, what they how it works out and kind of where cryptocurrency goes in the near future for personal purposes. But that's all there is for that. So if you want to check out this review or any other review, you can uh, visit youtube.com slash pateln01 if you want to... Um, get in touch with me you can find me on uh, twitter at patel in zero one and of course the website with uh, podcast and um past episode subscription links all of that good stuff can be found at patel in zero one dot com but that is all for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time